Thank you, Craig. And on behalf of Dell Tech, I'm honored to be here this evening to induct this year's honoree into the Hall of Fame. Please join me in learning more about this distinguished individual. Uh, Dr. Beister founded uh, SAIC in 1969. He um, grew this magnificent company to nearly $7 billion. Dr. Robert Beister personifies the American dream through his achievements as an entrepreneur and a great visionary. His dedication to helping our government on issues of national importance continues in the work SAIC does today. He has inspired literally tens of thousands of SAIC colleagues over the years. I congratulate Dr. Beister on receiving this award. Dr. Robert Beister is the founder of SAIC, the largest employee-owned research and engineering company in the United States, a recognized authority on national security and reactor physics. Dr. Beister committed 35 years to building SAIC on the founding tenets of employee ownership and technical excellence. When Dr. Beister retired as chairman and CEO in 2004, the company had annual revenues of $6.7 billion and more than 43,000 employees. Dr. Beister was born in Detroit in 1924 and grew up in Michigan. As he finished high school, World War II broke out and he enlisted in the Navy. The GI Bill provided for his education at the University of Michigan where he studied engineering and physics. After graduation, Dr. Beister went to work briefly at Los Alamos National Labs and then for 12 years at General Atomic in San Diego. He states that, at one time, I might have been voted by my coworkers as someone least likely to start up his own business. Committed to education, Dr. Beister has written or co-authored approximately 60 publications and reports. He also created the Foundation for Enterprise Development in 1986, a nonprofit organization dedicated to research, education, and services that advance technology, innovation, entrepreneurship, and broad-based ownership. In 2004, the FED launched the Beister Institute, now part of the University of California, San Diego, dedicated to training, education, and consulting in employee ownership. Tonight, we're delighted to induct Dr. Beister into the Hall of Fame. He, enjoys, he joins other giants of the industry, including Phil O'Dean, Dan Bannister, Earl Williams, John Toops, Charles Rosati, Norm Augustine, Al Nashman, and Clifford Kendall. Accepting the Hall of Fame award on Dr. Beister's behalf is his daughter, Mary Ann Beister, president of the Foundation for Enterprise Development. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mary Ann Beister. Make through this. Make through this without um, without crying. <laughs> um, I want to I thank the Fairfax County Chamber of Commerce, Professional Services Council, and the Washington Technology for this um, very important acknowledgement for my father's contribution to government contracting as well as the nation. Uh, recently, Nick uh, Wakeman of Washington Technology uh, interviewed my father, and um, I really encourage you to. Look at that interview. It's on is on the Washington Technology site. So I thank you, Nick, for that. Um, so let me recap some of the highlights. So it's 1969, and my father founds um, SAIC in San Diego. Within the first year of operation, it's 1970. The company makes 243 thousand dollars in revenue, and it's profitable. Okay. <laughs> um, one decade later, 
annual revenues are 140, 150 million dollars. And again, every year the company is profitable. Two decades later, in 1990, the company's revenues reached the $1 billion mark, and every year the company's been profitable. In 2004, when my father retires as chairman of the board, the company is uh, now in revenues uh, close to $7 billion, and again, every year is profitable. But it's the unconventional way that my father ran the company that is going to be the large part of his lasting business legacy. He insisted that the company be employee-owned. It was to be entrepreneurial, so that every talented employee had the freedom to pursue their, their passion, and that it would take on tough technology problems of national importance for a broad range of, of customers. In 1984, my father created the Foundation for Inter Enterprise Development to advance these powerful uh, values. And as was mentioned, in 2004, we created the Beister Institute, which is housed at UCSD, for training and consulting on employee ownership. And at the, at, and at the, the Foundation for Enterprise Development, we focus on new initiatives in research and education and training in entrepreneurship and innovation. So a few years ago, my father wrote um, a business book, which is unlike his other 60 publications, which, which uh, is called The SAIC Solution. And so that, that book was really a mission to share to others all the ex specific examples of how to grow a company based on SAIC's examples of the early and growth years. So I encourage you to buy the book. <laughs> and he's working on another book, and that is focused on the uh, growth the rapid growth of the internet domain name company, Network Solutions. So I encourage you to give suggestions and comments. You can find him at Beister.com, or you can send us emails at FED.org. Again, thank you for this very important acknowledgement. My father is deeply honored by this, and he sends his personal thank you.